Wada wada. That's what penguins do. You ever saw a reindeer play? Wow! Hey everybody, this is our Colorado vlog. Mwah! Love you. And this is a clip of the kids playing in the snow while we are not monitoring them. And this is our cute and cozy little cabin. We Airbnb'd. Super pretty. The sun is about to set. Or rise. Can't remember. <laughs> Either way, it's super pretty. And it's right next to Pikes Peak Mountain. There's a cute little aesthetically pleasing bench right outside. Oh, there's my dog Francis. There were Christmas decorations because it was the week of Christmas. Cute little desk in case you need it. The fridge was probably my favorite. Kind of has a vintage feel and red is such a powerful color. And the dining area was probably the cutest thing about the whole cabin. So many inspirational signs all over the walls. Everything was just super hallmarky. And they even had board games and DVDs. We ended up watching Shrek and the second Narnia. Everything about the cabin was magical and I would probably live in it real time. Our first day in Colorado, we ended up going for a walk. Uh, we were starving and we really wanted to eat something that we are not typically, or we don't typically have access to in Texas. We decided to take advantage of the fact that our cabin was super close to town and all the shops and all the restaurants. The view was super beautiful right inside of the neighborhood as you can see there's like these gorgeous cute little cabins some of them look like gingerbread houses we were originally gonna go to this place called southern lily which i believe is southern comfort food but once we got there it was closed but of course the universe 
aligned everything and there was literally a Japanese sushi restaurant right next to it and it was like the clouds opened up and God sprinkled his love dust all over us <laughs> or all over me because I could eat sushi three times a day every day. It's like almost 11 o'clock in Colorado. We um, were finally getting around. We caught up on sleep. We got up took showers and got dressed, did some stretches, cause those are important. I did anyway. And now we have finally gotten around to uh, making brunch. Um, the kids are outside playing in the snow. Johnny and I, or Johnny's doing most of the cooking per use or most of anything really. <gasps> So once we're done with brunch, we're going to pack up the kids and the doggy and we're going to head to Garden of the Gods. So I'm super duper looking forward to that. And we're going Jesus hiking. <laughs> yeah, I told Sailor that we were going to Garden of the Gods. And then when Johnny woke up, he's like, Mommy said we're going on a Jesus hike. <laughs> Close enough. Wish. Look, I made this super cute gluten-free mm. Oh yeah I always microwave an array of berries mix them with peanut butter and make kind of like a dope ass gluten-free peanut butter and jelly. Hi, I'm relatively healthy. I'm not going to shut anyone's GI tract off until major inflammation mode. Okay, but anywho, I have like a small, I don't want to eat without the kids, so I'm going to eat my little sampler. Mmm. So yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's the stuff. Mm. <laughs> this makes me want to watch The Little Mermaid. Why? Because of clams with pearls in them. It's what's on the inside that counts. So this is Garden of the Gods. We're driving in. We ended up parking in a public parking spot and just seeing everything it had to offer. We did the whole picture thing. We took pictures of other people. It was super windy, like barely could keep our feet on the ground. It was super awesome. Francis enjoyed himself for sure. There's Johnny being all cute with my Victoria's Secret pink backpack and his camo pants, super swaggy. And it really just had this inherent magical feel. Thank you. Thank you, God, there's a restroom, oh my goodness. There's actually a bunch of signs saying not to carve into the rocks, but as you can see, something takes over you and sometimes you just wanna draw a heart with your initials in it. There were so many dogs and just the atmosphere here was amazing. Everybody was super friendly and Everyone found us approachable. So many people came up to us and asked, hey, do you mind if we, or do you mind if our dogs socialize? And this guy right here even asked if we were interested in future doggy dog park play dates. It was really sweet and unexpected. And I don't know, I guess I just really appreciated it. You're not coming with us? Place has the climb.
slimiest rocks. Be more space in the car on the way home. That's a plus. We'll miss you though. It's just something you gotta do. Even if we get quesadillas. mac and cheese. Pizza with mac and cheese on it. It's really good. They have it at CC's. Come on, you get to pick whatever you want. Fine. Oh, but let me at least have a big box. Bye. Goodbye, Rox. Goodbye, Rox. Goodbye, Rox. I will love you forever. Love you.